Future me in three, two, one. You guys are bad at counting. <laughs> Brilliant. We usually watch two movies that are forgotten gems, I think, but this one, we're going to a cult classic. Um, I'm getting a lot of requests for cult classics, which doesn't really fit the theme of the show. Uh -huh. So I figured we'd make a little modification and we'll make what I call a focus episode. We'll f actually focus on a cult classic. Instead of watching two movies, we watched a cult classic and now we're gonna really focus on that one. So we'll do one of these once in a while, but it's not gonna be a normal thing. Next episode, we'll be back to the normal, not so well-known, well, the one thing too, before we get too far into it, I do want to jump into like three hours into the future, so because I have something to say in the future. So we're gonna jump to the future me, okay? And he's got a meeting, and then he'll throw it back to us. Okay. So future me, go. <laughs> we have our first sponsor, and the neat thing about this sponsor is it's a place that we all go to anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we've actually had meetings here. Um, and all that. So we have a long history with Fuku Burger. Yeah. And so they supplied us with all the food for today. So if you're in Vegas and you need a good burger, definitely the best place to go. It's where I take, I'm not just saying this, but it's a place I take all my friends and family when they come. You because, took me there. Yeah. Like, so. That's great. So we're going to eat. Uh, we're going to stop recording because I don't want to edit us eating. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah. I hate that noise. Uh, but then at the end of the episode, We'll share a few sto other stories about Fuku Burger. Cool. Uh, Fuku Burger stories. Mm, yes. Don't there's be a left long the history. Fuku out. <laughs> Thank you, Fuku. Yes. Thanks, Thank Fuku you. Burger. Yes. And go if you're ever in Vegas. Woo. All right. Now Future Me threw back, and now we're back. So thank you to Future Me. Yeah. Yeah, Hi, Future You. Amazing. Oh, my God. You look so different. Yeah, yeah. Four hours been? makes a huge difference. Mm -hmm. But uh, now that we're back, we can discuss the... Uh, the fun movie that we watched. Let's you and me have a little talk, friend. What? Yeah! Where'd you get that? Flexes. And and I love the idea of doing a cult classic because, as you said earlier when we got here, this actually flopped in the theater. Yes, this movie was a huge flop. It was actually, I think they said it was John Carpenter's last studio movie because it turned out so bad. He was so unhappy with what things went. So uh, one of the things that he was unhappy with apparently was the opening when Ag Shen is talking about showing the magic, saying, you know, leave Jack Burton alone. He's right. a hero of this. Was put in. You Burton. leave Jack Burton alone. And we are in his debt. He showed great courage. That was actually put in at the end against, he didn't want that because we'll, we'll go into why, right. but that was something they put in there because they wanted Jack Burton to be more of a hero because he wasn't the hero. Right. <laughs> um, He's tripping around and. Yeah. Wait a minute, pal. Get that one. Oh, yes, which is kind of the fun part. But so, yes, yeah, so this is actually the fourth of fifth collaboration between Carpenter and Kurt Russell. Mm -hmm. The first one, which most people don't, haven't seen, and I only saw because we carried it at a video store I worked at when I was younger. He did a made for TV movie about Elvis. His name was Elvis. He was a legend, an idol. John Carpenter directed it. Wow. And Kurt Russell was Elvis, and he made a phenomenal Elvis. He's great. What was the name of that movie? Elvis. Wow. <laughs> yes. It's really on the nose. Yes. Um, I've never seen that. Right. And uh, they did uh, The Thing, which is probably, in my opinion, top five greatest movies of all time. Right. Definitely top three horror movies of all time. I love The Thing. Escape from New York. Escape from New York, great movie. Big Trouble in Little China. Big Trouble in Little China. And then we'll ignore Escape from L.A. 
I don't think I've seen any of those. Well, you you need to see the thing. Well, that's all. why I'm on. Well, we won't talk about the thing because the thing yeah. is. Yeah. Epic. But. So you're just gonna deprive me of this opportunity? No, you can watch it on your own. You, no. It's worth watching on your own. Actually, to the point too, I saw the other day that even um, uh, Stephen Colbert said it's one of the greatest movies ever made. The Thing. The Thing, yeah. He said it's the movie that puts him in his happy place. It's possibly my favorite film. It's definitely my happy place. And it's The Thing. What happened in Big Trouble in Little China? Um, it started off with a, um, these two guys, uh, Wang and Jack, um, and they were playing a game. I don't know what game, but they were playing a game. And dominoes. They were gambling. Dominoes, yeah. Dominoes? It was like a dominoes um, game. And Wang lost, and so he had to get like $3,000 um, to pay Jack back. And Jack Nothing or double. I've never heard it said that way. What does he say? He's saying nothing or double. I've always heard it double or nothing, so I'm, I'm like... Yeah, nothing, nothing or double. double. Like, which we were so confused by. <laughs> like, what is he saying? Right. Um, nothing or double. And so he he gets in the truck because uh, Jack doesn't want Wayne to leave off without doesn't trust him. Yeah. yeah, without paying the money, and so they they carpool to get the money. Truck well, pool, and they have to make a pit stop on the Semi-pool. way. Semi pool. Ah, yes. Pig pool. Pig pool. Pig pool. Okay. This is Jack Burton and the Pork Chop Express, and I'm talking to whoever's listening out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pig truck. Pork, pork Chop Express. Yeah. Uh -huh. Pig pool. So they pick pool to um, the airport because you got to run errands on the way to get money. Um, <laughs> and so they pick up uh, Wang's fiance. I mean, I picked up girls from everywhere else, but never from China. She pretty? And um, fiance gets kidnapped by this gang. Um, the glasses gang. The glasses gang. Yeah. The, that, the cool glasses gang. The glasses thing. that never showed up yeah. again in the yeah. movie. Um, well, because because cool. they, they, because they 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 kidnapped her and then sold her to the to uh, Lopan. Right. right. They they were they were there just to to, to make Mediators. money. Yeah. I see. That's how they buy their cool sunglasses. Yeah. Cool see, sunglasses. you you see, but they they can't because mm -hmm. you see. They can't see through those glasses. <laughs> it's, it's not a sunny, snowy day. <laughs> Well, it was, you know, it was like Jack an eclipse. Jack was wearing the sunglasses in the dark rain no, while, while driving. No, wearing the wrong yeah. eyewear for the climate oh. that they're in. It was that an is eclipse. the theme of this it movie. It was an eclipse earlier that day. Everybody needed when those fucking glasses. When you're in a gang, glasses. you look at those. Yeah. You just want to look cool. Like, yeah, you when you're in a gang, it's about being the, cool, the, not the slit ones. The slit ones. Yeah, you look really cool and completely blind. Yeah, well, well, the one guy just had the really, it looked like the blind man glasses because they went all the way around his head. Right. So, I mean, his glasses fit a little. Back in the old days, what was that SNL skip, the skit? It's uh, better to look good than to feel good. Oh, well, there you go. It's better to look good than to feel good, darling. I don't know if I agree with that, uh -huh. but. <laughs> you know. So they're glasses. Okay. So, so the glasses, folks. Glasses gang. <laughs> glasses gang. <laughs> the glasses gang mm -hmm. uh, kidnap Wang's fiance, and they. Um, they capture her because she's got green eyes, um, and there was a prophecy, and so the the prophecy is this this god guy, this magician, Lopan, Lopan, has to marry a green eyed woman. And all I need is a woman, Mr. Burton, a special kind of woman with dragon green eyes to make me whole again. Um, does she have to be Chinese? Apparently they, not. They didn't say. They just said a green eyed woman and. It took them 2,000 to years to find. To fulfill the prophecy, right. right. So I would assume it probably, because of, they just assume it, because 2,000 years ago, they didn't really have... And it was a Chinese animation. culture. Yeah. yeah. It was a Chinese, and, you know... Yeah, and he needed Mary to become mortal again, because right now he's immortal, he's not uh, he's not human, and he wants to be mortal again, because the only way he can rule the world is to be, become mortal before he can become a god. Indeed! Right. So they kidnapped the green-eyed girl. And... The whole movie is them trying to get this girl back and fighting the gang with guns that run out of ammo and suddenly have ammo again. Follow the leader. One, two, three. <laughs> we may be trapped. Magic well, guns. <laughs> I, I love the fact that there's, there's this like side thing of Kim, was it Kim Cattrall? Yeah. Uh, Gracie Law. Don't panic. It's only me, Gracie Law. Yeah, Gracie Law, Gracie Law, that she has a random Asian 
Chinese lady coming in from overseas just to house. Like that was just this random. Well, they they, they had those story. They had to, to give her a reason to be at the to airport. To be at the airport. But she also said that she was there to make sure her friends' civil rights weren't violated. Weren't violated, right? So, what does that mean exactly? What the hell is Gracie Law doing here? She can't get enough of me. That she didn't get uh, stamped at customs, I guess. And well, I mean, not the, I mean, she said she was from. Well, no, no, it was the other woman who said she was in Hong Kong. I don't know. I don't know. That she was just treated <laughs> ethically at the airport. Oh, this is just so shocking. I mean, I must just be so monumentally naive. You are. At the very beginning of the story, Jack, like, has eyes on Gracie Law immediately. Can I ask you a serious question? Absolutely not. Well, then would you ever consider just jumping right in? Sure, but never with a person in your condition. Like he has eyes on her, goes over, talks to her, kind of tries to defend her honor right off the bat, you know, and he has this whole thing for her the entire film. He liked it. He liked her, yes. He liked it a lot. <laughs> a lot. I mean, not to jump to the end, we're not, I'm not going to go to the end, but I think he didn't like her. I just think he liked the, the game of the chase. The, the game. chase. Oh, yeah, because once, he, no, she once he got what he wanted, he just like left. He's like, yeah. I'm not even going to give her a goodbye kiss. Yeah, I'm it was, just going to duck. No. I know see, I can if I want to. Now you jump to. to the end of the movie. But, but, Sorry, but, but spoilers. No. <laughs> Spoiler but, alert. Watch right. the movie. I'm yeah. so sorry. It's okay. Everybody relax. I'm here. So the movie, as you said before, was great with one-liners. He has a lot of really good liners. One of my all-time favorites that I quote still to this day was when he's driving down at the beginning with the glasses on where he can't see anything. And he's like, well, you know what you know, I say to my wife, my ex-wife is, I never drive faster than I can see. I, that is one of the greatest lines of all time. Like I told my last wife, I says, honey, I never drive faster than I can see. Besides that, it's all in the reflexes. I mean, I think the best line was, there's something wrong with your face. I go with you, but... I know, there's a problem with your face. I found it! <gasps> Yay! Ah, excellent. Excellent. But well, there's not was... something wrong with your face. Though. Thank you. Well, that was the one where, yeah, she said she can't oh, go into the place there because they recognize her and they know her face. <laughs> and and then, then it just translates to there's something wrong with your face, wrong meaning with your face. you can't be a part of this yes. particular mission because you'll be recognized. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's not only just that line either. It's the way he delivers it in that great Kurt Russell delivery. It's like, yeah, yeah, I know there's something wrong with your face. I know there's a problem with your face. And just moves on like. It's like I don't want like to hear your explanation. It was, like a, it was almost like a throwaway, a yeah. throwaway insult. But I mean, he was such a narcissist in this movie, right? Oh yeah, I mean, he's speaking. <laughs> he, it was might have been the first time I've actually heard someone speak in like the third person. Remember what old Jack Burton always says at a time like that? Have you paid your dues, Jack? Yes, sir. The check is in the mail. Mm -hmm. About themselves? Yeah, because he would say, you know what Jack Burton always says? My favorite Who's line. Jack my favorite line is the continuous monologue of him in the Pork Chop Express in the beginning. Yeah, yes. <laughs> and that's where my line comes in, where he says, I, you know what I told my ex wife? I never drive faster than I can see. Right. And that's like a great line. Dark sunglasses, pouring rain at night. Eating a sandwich and then talking on the radio. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, like, like, he, yeah and, like he's eating a sandwich and putting it on the wheel at the same time. Right. Like I'm sure we found a humorous in that, but I bet you that's probably what most truck drivers do. I bet you most <laughs> truck, 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 truck drivers watch this, they're like, "That's not funny." Right. Like that's yeah. That's how I eat. Yeah, that's how I drive. <laughs> how do you think we get my nutrition? Yeah. So, like, where's the humor here? Yeah. Like, there's, there's, this, this is something movie I can relate to. Right. This is an accurate <laughs> representation. Of mine. Industry. Almost as relatable as Black Dog. What? No! Oh my god, that was that was, that was Patrick Swayze, right? Patrick Swayze, oh truck driver. <laughs> Deep cut there. God, I don't even remember oh, that. I mean, I... I... <laughs> Meatloaf. Meatloaf was the Meatloaf bad guy. Was the, yeah, I don't remember the movie. I just remember... I mean, it's Patrick Swayze. If, I know all his movies. Patrick Swayze. I need context. Yeah. You don't want context. You don't want context. <laughs> yeah. That's we can just, fine. We can move on from a, a, a deep cut that probably shouldn't have been delivered in. I shouldn't drink apple juice. It gives me gas. You listen to me, Wes. One fart and you're walking. You're like, just, <laughs> no, thank you. Moving on. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we skipped they just the, the first action. They from the airport. Yeah, we, we, the snag from the airport, which was a minor action scene. Nothing. Right. But let's get into the really big action scene where we find some of the great classic uh, 
Asian uh, every great yes, martial yes. artist extra from every so great <laughs> movie. Yes. So th- now in an alleyway with yeah, a semi right. truck. Let's go. Kind of how like that an infomercial. Every great Asian action star now in an alleyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. With three superheroes and a god. <laughs> and then it, <laughs> yeah. It, 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 let's not get too deep into it, but it, 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 it's kind of neat that this like me growing up. This was not something I've ever seen before. I, I watch martial art movies, but we like growing up kung fu movies from Hong Kong. You know, we we all watched them, but yeah. they were Hong Kong movies. Right. We knew what they were, but to see kind of a Kurt Russell in this, and he just stands there waiting for me to drive my truck straight through him with light coming out of his mouth. Chinese mystic movie mm-hmm. with martial arts martial arts it was it was something new to us right it's yeah, something that we never saw it, it was almost like a it was almost like a, a throw into like the mortal combat sort of well, mortal kombat was, actually said they uh, their character their character of, from this yeah but it was just that it, makes sense yeah i mean raiden came from that right. i mean uh, I forget who the one, but... Oh, man, I can definitely see the correlation yeah. now. Oh, yeah. I mean, I didn't even really play the game much, but I, even half of the battle arenas are, like, in a weird alley-esque yeah. right. scene. Right. <laughs> Yeah, when Mortal Kombat came out, it was it was there was heavy big trouble in little China nostalgia for oh, me. Yeah. Oh yeah. Man. And you could see I mean the movie like we said flopped. The when this movie came out, it was a flop. Yeah. Right. Um but it America can... didn't know what to do with a movie like this. It was it was very serious but very not serious, very cultural but very not. It was a weird well, mumbo jumbo. Let me hold that. Brave man likes the feel of nature on his fist, Jack. Yeah, and a wise man has enough sense of getting out of the rain. Yeah, I, th- I think I think you said it the best, though, is John Carpenter wanted to do this hardcore Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon sort of movie, but they had to put in, you know, an actor from the States, right? Right, well, and that was the thing. It's like, because if you look at this, too, I mean, we look at... I mean, Wang is the hero, right? And yeah. Kurt Russell, Jack Burton is kind of the bumbling sidekick, kind right. of screws everything up. Um, God, I love and he doesn't really ever person. fight. But in, in the no, no, he screws up. He like right. the, the, my favorite well, the show, rocks fall. <laughs> well, even the, the, the first one when he's out of bullets and he's, right. he's trying to get fixed, and, and and Wang beats everybody up, and by the time he jumps back out ready, he's the fight's right. over. Wang and he gets his foot stuck in the other guy's armor and is there right. for like yeah. half the scene. Half like, the fight scene, it's, yeah. It's funny to see the role reversal there, right. honestly. And that's that's the thing, is like John Carpenter, you know, in in this era, I mean, even today, I mean it's getting more popular. Like you see Netflix, they have those new movies that came out. They just have that new show with Michelle Yeoh on it, which is a total Asian cast. Mm-hmm. They had that beef, which was a great I thought a great show on Netflix. Uh-huh. Um so but back then, I mean to have an Asian lead, an Asian enemy, the bad guy. I mean, the, yeah. the main characters are all Chinese. China is here, Mr. Burton. Yeah, go ahead. But it still comes off like Kurt Russell is the lead oh. to an American audience. Right now, yeah. It's so I no, mean, even when I watched it, I was like, I was like, yeah, go but that's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on, Dave. You must be doing something seriously wrong. Well, Wait, he also he wise off into the sunset at the but end. But that's what I mean. They, yeah. they, he had to do that to get this movie made. Is get it that. star yeah. power or is it cop out? No, it's because the studio didn't couldn't handle Have an Asian lead. having an entire oh, they just Asian didn't lead. Let him. Right. Now this really pisses me off to no end. So yeah. they so they tri- they kind of modified it to put an American in that had a name because it's for the American audience. But he kind of sneaked it in there. Even right. though he put the lead, the hero in there, uh, he wasn't, which was right. kind of a neat little John Carpenter. And it was one of his last studio films. I right. mean, he went back to being in an independent cinema. And I mean... Which is why his buddy ends up getting the girl at the end and he doesn't actually. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what a yeah. beautiful little twist. Yeah. What that twist? Yeah, he just sort of rides off into the sunset by himself. Which, again, like we said, this was a, a Western script originally, and that's a Western ending. Right. I mean, I got would you well, wouldn't need a Western? Shut up! Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't need a Western? You wastily no. wabbit! I don't want to jump. I want to get into that, but I don't want to get to the end. Like we're skipping again the battle scene because so there's a funeral. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Walking down the street, and there's yeah. a gang of people, yep. and they're carrying, carrying somebody, the and, and they're just uh, this, this procession is going along, and it's foggy and it's super moony. And Jack's just like, I'm trying to get my goddamn truck through these people, and it's just this. And then the, I'm surrounded, and then now there's dudes in different colored geese coming at. What's going on around here? When I was little, this me, and my older oh, you did it. Me and my older little brother would run around like we were doing this because we didn't. We just thought this no, was no, the no, coolest no. movie. Some must be in, otherwise oh. it's a loser. Yeah. Yeah. A loser. Loser. No, you're a loser. <laughs> so, so just just to show that, when was the last time you saw this movie? Oh, a couple years ago. <laughs> he didn't. Richard didn't join us for viewing. Holy shit! Sorry, guys. He had more important things, but he did pick up the Fuku, so right. I might cut that out. I don't. I don't. I kind of want to keep that a secret. I don't know. We'll yeah. See. Yeah, but he has happens. seen the movie, so that's that's. I was good, gonna say I, they're not even gonna knows. notice. I think. Right. It's not <laughs> uh, but I want to put that in there in case I want to keep it in. Right. Ah, it's, I it's see. There. Right. If yeah. I want to torture Richard. Hey, you. He's been here the whole time, hasn't he? Yeah. What? Yeah, I was here the whole Remember time. Hey, you. I've been here the whole time. Uh-huh. Green fire. Okay. Green so, fire. <laughs> first, it's a gunfight. The gunfight, they run out of bullets, and then they turn it into a straight martial art fight. Right. Now they got sticks and sharp sticks. Weapons. Crashing through windows yeah, and doors. I mean, and to be honest, it's a pretty good action scene for like like a good martial arts. John Carpenter's not a martial art like. Right. Well, right, but he had ev- he had all the martial right. arts talent in Hollywood where there. Where it's gonna go. Like, he must have just said, you guys know this better than me. Choreograph right. it. Do it good. Go ahead. Hear do, camera do angles. Good. Do do good. But like, do it good. <laughs> it wasn't. And that's what I was gonna say. Cause like, I if mean, you, trust your artist. If you look right? like a like a John McTiernan action scene, or like to bring it more current, like a John Wick, you right. know where the cameras are. You you have a perspective of where mm. everything's going. Mm-hmm. Where this one was more more of like an '80s action, where it's like, all right, here is a fight through the window. Right. Done. All right, here's a stab. Here's a punch. Mm-hmm. So it's more chaotic. Right. More of like an '80s action one. So it wasn't a great action scene, but it was a fun one. But very '80s of well, the time. And, and so and, much of the background, the great. 80s action background stuff where you've got guys just sort of swinging at each other in the back. When, no one, stands, when no one stands still. Yeah. 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 I mean, like, what was it? Was it the Dark Knight or the one Batman movie where you see him fighting and you see the guys in the background just kind of they don't like <laughs> dancing because then they don't want to stop moving, but it was just like, like oh, that made in the movie. And, yeah, then, yeah. and then you can just say, if you pay attention to everybody that isn't in the foreground, like they're taking turns assaulting somebody. I liked it when the guy was knocked through the window and then came back out Jumps the window out. to <laughs> attack one of the other guy, guys. Yeah. 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 But with that said, is and where they're we... all fighting around a truck. Right, yes. <laughs> and they're and like I think it was you that said they had the best seats in the house. They're just like looking at the like, truck what like what is happening? Right. So much violence. Like, I don't know what his name is. I've never known what his name is because I'm terrible at knowing people's names. Antonio. But um <laughs> The the guy who has always had like the long black hair mullet, but he's bald on top. Yeah. Oh the, yeah. The, we, we, like, like he was said, born with that hair. He was in he was in Lethal Weapon. <laughs> right. He was in Die Hard. Yeah. He was in uh, Last Action Hero. Oh, was that the he, guy that you said yeah. was like the guy? Yeah. <laughs> well, he gets killed in the beginning from the three demon guys. Well, that's unfortunate. And, and then he comes killed back. In the beginning of Die Hard. And then he, gets back, and then he comes back. He he gets uh, an ice cream cone on the back of his head in uh, Last Action Hero. Yeah. When the bottle right. blows up, yeah. He's one of the most memorable people, and I cone. don't know his name. I'm so sorry, I don't know your name. What a well, fun with bucket the ice cream list on to just yeah. be killed in as many different nonsensical ways as possible. Well, yeah, but he's got a great face, record. though. He's, he's got a great, great face. Presence. He gets a lot of screen time. He can yeah. act. Well, yeah, because you see, he's the one who tortures Mel Gibson in Lethal Weapon, and he, mm-hmm. and, he, and that one, like right at the end of the torch, he's like, "Sorry about it, ma'am." So, like he's got to kill him. And you can tell he doesn't really want to, but he Remain has to. Enzo, he's he's forgotten more about pain than you'll ever know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes. Well, so so in the first scene, in that first fight scene, he's the first guy out. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then the gods come in and kill everybody, and then the scene you were talking about where. Um, where he jumps behind the boxes and comes back. When they break that door down, he's again the oh, first yeah. guy. And then he steps out of the way and lets the other guys come in. And then I think you know? you're the one that laughed too. Like when they introduce him, when he walks up, he just kind of dips under the camera. Uh-huh. <laughs> just kind of like a random, like, okay, that was kind of, uh, was that you? What? Oh, no. But, but before you just mentioned too, is that's where we introduce the three storms. 
Right. Which is a, a you know the raining bolt. from mm -hmm. yeah raining from uh, Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. Yeah. yeah. And the three storms come in, and we said this is this movie has two repeat actors from previous movies. Yes. Um, was it uh, Rain is mm -hmm. the guy who killed yeah. uh, Christian Slater's Christian brother. Christian Slater's and, and Kim adopted Kim. brother. And the lady Kim. from Police Academy. Right, Kim. Kim, Kim Cattrall. Cattrall, yeah. Don't panic, it's only me, Gracie Law. She's oh. Gracie Law. Yeah. And she's and just yeah, as bad right. in this one, Kim and Cattrall. it makes me so happy. And I remember saying that. Oh God, I'm sorry. Such a huge crush on her since Taxi. Like, but she's she, so pretty. She was. But you got to see her naked in in Mannequin. She was actually she, topless in Mannequin. Oh, I don't remember that part. Yeah. Huh, he wishes. But remember was, Mannequin? I do, but I don't remember that part. Oh yeah. I must have been too busy looking at her face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know there's a problem with your face. No, you were too. You, you were too busy like me watching uh, just one of the guys. She's got <laughs> such dreamy eyes. Just yeah, beautiful eyes. green eyes that she almost died over. <laughs> right. Well, there were contacts in this one. Right. But Chewbacca yeah, I mean, almost killed her. I, I'll take the girl, the eyes from the, I uh, the girl. I still don't the, get that character. Guys. Guys. I just we might don't have understand. to fight over that. But he made a lot of disagree with me on that. I thought for sure you would agree with me on that one. Oh, no, no, no. We might have to fight over the girl. Oh, I thought you would. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and, Ooh, and, can I take bets? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll hold yeah, the yeah, sign. Yeah. Round um, three. But since he declared the fight, I will choose the weapon and I choose compliments. That zipper sweater is fetching. Getting hot in here, or is it just me? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, round one goes to Richard. That I'll might hold, have been a knockout. I'm gonna hold the cue cards. That might have been a knockout. Yeah. <laughs> we might be counting to ten right now. <laughs> but we've got the storms. We've got the three storms. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And they wipe everybody out. Can we talk about the three storms' powers real quick? One of them is lightning. The other one is like wind, but he's like sucking in and blowing out. But he no, can no, like no. also like eat everything. <laughs> was this Kirby? <laughs> well, they, they kind of. They're supposed to be the three storms. So you had wind, thunder, and it, it was it was thunder. Thunder was the guy who blew himself up at the right, end. Right, right. But he was supposed to just be thunder. He was powerful. Oh, I did powerful. not get that at yeah, all. Right. Well, I was yeah. like, why is this guy fat now? Oh, he exploded. Yeah, yeah. Well, he yeah he lost control of his of his power because. And then the light guy with his eyeballs and his mouth. Well, that yeah, was the, well, that was Lopan. Lopan. That was Lopan. Lopan. That was a, yeah. that was, that's not a power. That's not one of the he three was the, storms. He was no, a no, god. He was the he ultimate. Was, he was. Oh. Remember the old guy who kept eh, and was, yeah, that's the, the goose. same. That's the same guy from yeah, Kung Fu the Panda. Goose. Kung Fu Panda's dad. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's the same yeah, guy. It yeah. Just he has different forms. He yeah. didn't have but one he, power. He had magic. Yeah, wow. he was like a wizard. He Chinese could do black magic. Chinese black magic. So what do you was remember the, when he did the fingers and he fought? So you got explody guy and the egg. lightning guy and then who's the other storm then? He was the guy who killed the guy with the towel in the other movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there were three. The three storms showed up. the The other one was the one with the really, really long hair. Is that the one that got punched in the face a bunch, but then didn't react? No, no. That that was that was thunder. God damn it! It was the one that you you commented on his hair. Like, oh, that's a hell of a hairstyle. That is a hell of a hair. I yeah, the long hair. That, really that long was, hair. I'll commit to that comment. Even I, I don't remember who I made it. And about. he had the wicked. Yeah, hat that on. was that was rain. <laughs> that is a hairdo. But I can't remember what his rain. So wind, thunder, and rain. It was thunder, lightning, and rain. Thunder, lightning, and rain. Yeah. Oh. And low pad. That's kind of cute. And low pad. Which those are their pet names, huh? Yeah. Uh, and and yeah. I think I, I pointed mm -hmm. out um, we you know you name your cameras so that on set you can call all the cameras by name. Um, mm -hmm. Camera C, which is that camera right there, is mm -hmm. named is named low pan. <laughs> um, and then that one is named. Pliskin. Hi, Pliskin. Pliskin. Which is also another Kurt Russell Bangkok reference. rules. Oh, Pliskin. Snake Pliskin okay. from... The kid hits the ground you draw. There you go. <laughs> oh! It's another, yeah, uh, another John Carpenter, Kurt Russell... Uh, Cheese Fest. Yes. The, and that uh, one? That's that Antonio. one's O-Ren, because that one's all white. We named, uh, it was named O-Ren, yeah. O-Ren. Yeah. Okay. So that was a, those are the camera names, but yes. Yeah. That's how much this movie had an influence on me growing up. I named my camera after Lopan. That's cool. That's very the cool. The immortal. Yes. You're All just can... a little weird. 
But in like the coolest way though. Like nerds <laughs> are the best people. In the best really. possible way you're Yes, weird. exactly. But you know something? Sooner or later I rub everybody the wrong way and Exactly. Oh, oh wait, I gotta come back with you. Fuck you. Fuku. 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 If I said it to him, I gotta say it to you too. No, I've got there, this you know what? Now you're the only one that needs a fuku. It'll, it'll come. It'll, it'll come, come eventually, yeah. <laughs> Well, no, I dropped it. <laughs> oh, no. Good. Hey, where'd he go? He's gone. Callie! All right, now pick it up. <laughs> we just do that anytime we don't want him to keep I'm talking. Sorry, he just dips yeah. out it's and can't really be different. <laughs> Hi, Golden Flower. Ooh, you, know what? you know what? Anytime we don't want to hear what he has to say, he can just dip out. We can replace him with Callie and we'll call it a Calio instead of a cameo. It'll be Callio. great. It will be perfect. And then you can spin that into your own brand of cereal, Calios. Oh. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. All right, we are way off track. Oh. <laughs> we are way off track, people. This, really this is going to be a, a three-hour edit fest. Like, no. I, this is going to be so long. <laughs> okay, so, no, yeah, because we'll we just introduced the storms. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> like, we are 15 minutes we, in the movie. We talked about five minutes worth of story in the last half hour. Yeah. We'll be good. Relax. Yeah. I believe okay, in this. So, we pass the fight scene. He gets the truck out of the street by running over... He runs over Lopan. Lopan. Right? As you do. Well, through. Through Lopan. Through Lopan. And then Lopan and then is like... Lopan like burns his him. eyes. And, and blinds then they him. Blinds him. And then they run through the street. And with dirty sewer street water, his friend splashed him twice and he's okay. Yeah, he can see again when, right, he, when, he he, when you get him. the dirty water. In your dirty water, yeah. yeah. It's a good yeah, yeah. call. Yeah. Yeah, but, but it wasn't like blindness... He wasn't blinded by the light. He was blinded by magic. Yeah. And he needed like water. Chinese black magic. Chinese black magic. Something of the earth to wash the negative chi that Lo Pan deposited. There we go. Oh. Yeah, because it, it's okay. It's it's temporary. What more do we need than that? What more do you need? But, so when they get back, yeah, you're right. And when they get back to the restaurant and they start telling, I mean, a lot of exposition, a lot going in there. But the neat part, what I like about that is normal exposition dump is just annoying. And we even you point, I think you pointed out where it's just like. Mm -hmm. But what's really neat about that exposition dump is you have Kurt Russell the whole time. As a normal guy, just doesn't, what do you mean? What? Like, right. no. Yeah, you, you had. And he just stands there waiting for me to drive my truck straight through him with light coming out of his mouth. This oh. is one of the first movies I saw as a kid where I liked that because you had somebody that they were explaining it to instead of them hand feeding it to the right. audience. And him being a normal person, not buying into it. Right. Hold it, hold it, slow down. I'm feeling a little like an outsider here. You are. Yeah. Like the dragon He was the little puppet contrarian. coming through the yeah. hole. Yeah, uh, when, 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 what would he say something about Lopan? Like, you mean when I drove through him? Like, right. Like, Oh yeah, the guys he, on wire yeah, fighting the guys on wire yeah. in the fight scene. Right. And I'm just like, did he just break the fourth right. wall? Right, right, right. <laughs> like, yes, but also he's a skeptic. And I'm right. like, right. while his buddies are flying around on wires, cutting everybody to shreds. Guy to my heart, like that's I get it. So it, it's really neat to have a character during the exposition dump not believing it right. and questioning him just. Being the normal, no, right. no, this is the, not the regular Joe that's just like, yeah. no, that's this, not right. This is all bullshit. I right. just want my truck back, and 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 the nothing or double money you owe me. The nothing or double from cutting I the glass, don't the bottle. Like that. <laughs> nothing or double. Nothing or double. I like it. I'm gonna start saying that, and that when we need to go fa fast. <laughs> what? Fast. Fast. Oh yeah, were you? I was like, "What are you prompting?" I know it's something. No, when it doesn't, it doesn't mean like how or where or to why. It just means direction, move. You just yell fast, fast. and everything else is contextual. Like that is so good. It's an efficient way of like, let's get out of here. Fast, 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 <laughs> fast. And, and they're like, oh, and direction. Like, but but no one went what or where. They just all did it. They all fasted. Yeah, right. they all. <laughs> Wonder if they that's like if, if that's a really good like Chinese to English kind of ism, where where in the Chinese language maybe that that that's a thing, like a part of speech where you just like you just point and you're like. I mean, it would be it would be make in haste. that direction, right? You know, it would be make, make haste. haste. Make haste. Who is thusly? Thusly. Exactly, but it was fast. Fast. And it was like, yes. It makes sense because we, the English language has a lot of useless words. Yeah. It does. For it us, does. it would be run. Would, yeah, run. Run. That's a that's run. a really good point. Yeah. 
Go, both of, both of those right, things go. are way better than like stage left right, even. Right. Or make haste. Nobody's going to say make haste now. I say make haste. Army darkness. I do. In the emergency, you say make haste? I do. Okay. Yeah. I like it. Very headstrong on that. So they're talking about <laughs> now and forever. all of the crazy <laughs> stuff they saw and that low pan is active and this is bad news. He's 2,000 years it's old. Kind of, it was kind of neat when they're talking about it and... Uh, Jack Burton mentions his low pan, and you see the older guy kind of like what? Whoa. And Wang was like, "Oh no!" Like Wang didn't want to, didn't want that out oh. yet. Right. Morning, is appeared on the street. Wangji, why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to alarm you, Uncle. Which is kind of neat. You know, it, there's neat little elements of this. That it's actually, a great movie. It's it's really good directing from John Carpenter to right. really show that. Uh, and it keeps you going. It keeps yeah. you going throughout the entire movie. I mean, the, it doesn't slow down at any point where you're like, oh, come on. That's a good point. The movie, even when it does slow down, there's a lot going on. There's a on. lot going on. Dude, uh, by the end of watching this film, again, I haven't, uh, I wasn't here for the viewing today. Holy shit. But by the end of watching this film, I, one of the, my takeaways from it every single time is how tired I am. When I'm done watching it, because you, 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 there's so much memory fatigue, because you're taking in so much. Right. Yeah. Well, and you know, I, I kind of like, you know, now that we've brought it up, I kind of like the the comedic white guy. I don't know if that's even correct to say, or the the random the goofy sidekick. The goofy side, yeah, what? but but he's just he doesn't understand anything that's going well, on. He's, he's a just weird kind of, combination of the goofy sidekick and the straight man. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just, it's this random thing and it's really, it plays well in the story. I don't know, it, it wouldn't have made it as a cult classic, I don't think, if if Kurt Russell wasn't in the movie. Right. If or they John, had taken know. it actually yeah. like seriously, right. like John really <laughs> like, right. like straight tie, you know. Right. Boy, sure is raining cats and dogs. It or if the way have... it was intended, I don't think it would have made it as you know, I think it would have been a B-rated kung fu. It'd be like, story. yeah, good job, guys. That right. was a cool movie. Yeah, but turning him into that weird kind of character, even though he was supposed to be the that caricature, here, caricature yes. of the American trucker. Yeah, <laughs> and just oh, like yeah, so self-assured, full of himself, walk into this world of Chinese mysticism where everybody is super competent and knows their shit, uh -huh. and he knows nothing. He's like. Wait a second, guys. Oh. I'll handle this. Wait. Right. <laughs> one other line that we forgot. One other good. Ooh. It's all in the reflexes. It's all in the reflexes. It's all oh, the reflexes. yeah. Don't forget, boom. <laughs> right. like, end a movie. Just like kill shot. Right. Let's go. not do anything with because, that knife. Because they said it. Except hold it in his mouth. <laughs> but the, but, but <laughs> the <laughs> great <laughs> thing is, God, we're going to jump to the end again. But he, that line is delivered at the very beginning and the very end. Yeah. Because when they. When oh, I missed it in the beginning. When, when, they're, when the bet is nothing or double, that he can cut that bottle in half. Oh, and he, he cuts it, he he it. all in the reflexes. Yeah, he cuts it all in the reflexes. Ah, oh, we've come full circle. Yeah. I mean, this so is there nice. is good writing in this. Yeah. Like, it really is. Um, but let's go back to we find out that what is it the, they they sold Wang's girlfriend or fiance to the white dragons. Yeah, white so, tigers. White tigers. Thank white you. Tigers, yeah, yeah, so white tigers. So they get the idea of to go in, and Kurt Russell's going to dress up as the dopey white guy who right. wants to pick up a Chinese prostitute. Oh my right. god, his glasses. Yes, though. which is actually which is really funny. I know you haven't seen it in a while, but do you recognize the suit that he's wearing? It's a suit. Thro it's a throwback. It's a, the suit is a throwback. From Buckaroo Bonte? No. What? <laughs> used cars with Kurt Russell. Oh. That's the suit he wore in used cars. Oh. <laughs> which, is really, which is really funny. No, they're really old movie. I, mean, I, I don't know I think used about cars it. maybe even... Maybe before, right before I was born, or right when I was born. It might be like, but it was, I think it was, it was a Mac. With the glasses. Of, I yeah, think it was he like even Robert had glasses. Yeah. first movie, or one of his early movies. Another failure, though. Um, yeah, so he goes in to buy her. Yeah, but but he but he has that line too, you know, the creepy oh, the line that makes me cringe was like, the the more fresh off the boat, the better. Fresh off the boat's the way I like them. The more exotic, the better. Right. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. But but yeah, but he, but he he says that I want a girl with green eyes. Right. And that's when the girl, the the lady working, kind of realizes, yeah, knows yeah. knows something's up. Right. With her suspicious eyes. Yeah. Yeah. But then none of that matters because uh, the three storm or lightning shows up right. and kidnaps her away. Right, mm -hmm. and just Ride the whole the building shakes and random holes in the in the ceiling just 
happened. It looked like a UFO, honestly. And then all it these guys like run aliens. out with their prostitute Asian girlfriends. You know, if you're incompetent enough, anything's a UFO. Because you can't identify it. Yeah. And it's flying, and it's an object. What if it was this? Do not throw that at me. I would never throw that at me. <laughs> Um, but, so they fail that, and <laughs> and now also too, that's where your line came in because when she when he was gonna go in, she There's said she couldn't go in. Something wrong with your face. There's something wrong. There's something wrong with your face. It's such a great face. delivery. I go with you. Buddy. I know there's a problem with your face. Okay, you people sit. Okay, you people sit. Okay, you people sit. Okay, you people sit. Okay. You people sit there. Yeah. yeah, I know there's something wrong with your I'm face. I'm going to put that, honestly. Mm. That's going to be a trump card. I'm putting that in, like, my future use uh -huh. queue. Just when you get business cards, just put it on the back. Yeah. There's something there's wrong, something with, your wrong with your face. And then when they turn over to read it, you're already gone. They're like, like well, that's a little face? rude. That's <laughs> with my face. I <laughs> might use that clip of him, him saying that and just edit it random in the in the, in these videos just right. randomly like Richard will say something and he's something, something wrong with your face. <laughs> face. <laughs> or every time we make a stupid face. Yes. That's also good. I know there's a problem with your face. Hey, I'll get a fight. I never make stupid faces. <laughs> I know there's a problem with your face. So then the three, the three storms. You're nothing but stupid faces. Wait, so I know there's a problem with your face. Oh! <gasps> Oh my God. You turned him into Sasquatch, <laughs> who had a feature in this movie that oh, yeah. still makes no sense to me. Still makes no sense to Chinese me. Chinese black magic. In Chinese black magic. Chinese black magic. They. In Chinese black magic. They have that the creepy flying monster with the eyes. It'll be, we'll get there though. Yeah. So Ooh. they fail at gets risk rescuing her, and now the girlfriend or the fiance is with low pants people now, which sucks. It does. Which sucks. We're not back by dawn. Call the president. So basically, now that they failed that, they go back, they re regroup, and figure out that now they got to go to LePan's place. Yeah, and they're having deep counsel on how to deal with this world threatening problem in a kitchen. And I'm a reasonable guy, but I've just experienced some very unreasonable things. Yes. In the kitchen, well, yeah. Yes. I mean, because, because uh, Wang owns a kitchen. The kitchen is the heart of the home. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, I, don't, I think it's I think it's a, a restaurant kitchen. And what was the name of the character who was the, the old wise man who made Egg like Chen? Egg. We haven't talked about Egg Chen yet. Egg I Egg forgot. Egg. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Mr. Egg Chen with his wonderful tour this morning. So Egg Chen, because because like he yes. he does all of this. He supports these heroes onto their ultimate but victory. No, spoiler alert. Actually, and just, then retires to Arizona, where a bunch of graboids come. We haven't talked about that yet. <laughs> we talked, but it's actually good you brought that up because. They introduced Egg Chen at the very beginning, very which beginning. was that part that George, uh, John Carpenter didn't, <laughs> John Carpenter didn't want in the movie, but they added he added it on right. you know on wanting, and then they show him driving the tour van, giving a tourist <laughs> when, he he so got, good. when he almost got run over by the right. pork chop express. They played chicken, but now they introduce him because they now they bring they had to bring in an expert because right. now Lo, Lo Pan has it. Lopan has her, they really need an expert, right. so Egg Chen mm -hmm. comes in right. and he, they regroup and without really planning very well, Jack Burton and Wang go on on their own. They they barge through pretending to be repairmen, right. barge through, they go down there and don't make it very far, they get caught. Because right. Wang's a solo and Jack Burton is foolish and thinks yeah. he can handle anything. Right. All right, boys, where's the main panel? And probably through here, huh? And they get caught. Yes. They end up in the was the the upside down dungeon. Uh, the, no, oh, yeah, the one oh, yeah. elevator. Hell. There was yeah, the, there was the upside down hell. Yeah, there but was, they caught it like they, there they, was they, the hell of a thousand drownings or yeah, something. So, yeah. It was an upside down <laughs> drowning thing. Right. Yeah, yeah. They all the dead bodies. Jesus Christ, where are we? Hell of the upside down sinners. And then I just uh, called it the water vader. Yeah, because they get flooded in that. It's yeah. salt water. Yeah. Uh, and then Thunder tortures him. Mm -hmm. With a, uh, uh, oh, no, it, it was, Thunder didn't, know he took him there. But then they all got strapped down to those wheelchairs. Was standing. It was Rain who was doing with the, with the ball. Yeah. He was throwing the ball at, at yes. Jack Burton's stomach. Yeah, which stomach. is just rude. Yeah, but you want to know who Rain was, that was Rain. Um, right. Yeah, well, while his buddy was in a, strapped to a wheelchair. Yeah. You know, he's like, come on, come on, come on, take on somebody your own size or something. And he throws a, yeah. throws a ball at The him. magic ball. Yeah. And then when you look, when he falls so, to the floor, there's like four or five of them yeah. on the floor all around him. 
Like he's played ping pong with him before. Yeah, he's like, fight me like a real right, man. Yeah. And he just uses magic. You like, don't have the balls. <laughs> and then he's like, oh shit, you do. Yeah. <laughs> you literally have the balls. You keep hitting me with your balls. <laughs> At least he didn't hit him Can with the face. Can you stop? They're a little red now. <laughs> They were red. You, you were right. take a ball to the face. <laughs> you can dodge a wrench. You can dodge a ball. <laughs> <laughs> he forgot Wait the five second, rules now. of dodgeball. That's uh -huh. true. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We don't want to go into all the detail, but yeah, so they, they break out of the wheelchairs, blah, blah, yep. blah, yeah. But my favorite one was... <laughs> Again, more J Jack Burton, just overconfidence. Overconfidence. Over -continence. He's like, I just can't pee. I really have when, to. <laughs> when, there when, was so much water in the last scene, and I still can't go. Well, that's why he explodes. <laughs> right. no. Thunder comes in, and Jack Burton jumps on his back. Jumps on his back. And, and he just throws Straddles him off. Him. He just throws him off like it's nothing. Right. And goes after Wang, and then he jumps on him again. All right, let's try this again. Now, let's try that again, huh? Don't make me kill you, tough guy. Throws him off, somehow falls into the wheelchair, flies down the hall, backwards. Hits, knocks the guys. Oh, you know, yeah, knocks the guys like bowling pins. They just go flying. <laughs> Which, that's the best part, because like, if you ever hit anyone, right. they're going to run over, fall down, knock right. you off the wheelchair, but they go flying. Flying, they flipping. Shoot, oh, yeah. He hits the edge of the well and tilts into the back of the well, and <laughs> yeah. right. and just right. holding like like whoa. Whoa. better and, not do that. And flexes his arms with his sleeveless shirt, pull himself back right. up. And um, Tally put it right. He jumps and throws the, throws the chair back. <laughs> and it goes flying down the well instead of just like rolling another foot forward and stepping right. up. <laughs> no, it, it had to be dramatic. It's so dramatic. You yeah. gotta do it for the drama. Yeah. <laughs> but the drama for only you to see. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, like, I do that sometimes. Like, I'm like, this is for me. It, Wait, you guys don't just like pose when you get out of bed in the morning? Like I, I dash out of the bed. It's, it's like, it's, it's, it's like a, it's like a little kickflip thing. Okay. And then, and then I'm and like, I bet you're very <sighs> impressed by see, it too. Oh, yeah. Every day. Yeah. Oh, see, see, I thought you like, you, well, the way you said it, you dash, I da you said you don't pose, and then you dash out of bed. Mm -hmm. Or something I imagine you dashing out of bed to the mirror, like, oh, yeah, <laughs> like, how welcome is that, today. How, how is that different than what I just said? New screen leaks, but that just won't shine. I can't seem to find my toothbrush, so I'll pick one up when I go out today. Other than that, I'm in good shape. Ah! I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, ooh, Dash likes. <laughs> ooh, Dash he likes. I can love that movie. You know what Rich always says. <laughs> Dash likes. Hey, I'll trade you. All right, which way? Fat before they wake up. From the sewer. From the, the sewer. Tour. The, from the sewer to the tour. No, yeah. because Keep this up. is the time they went on on their own. And sort of strange things. Because <laughs> like, now. when does Gracie get caught? Because like, yeah. she gets tied up. Uh -huh. Well, because they all go in. They but all she go gets in caught to the... while they're inside. All right, and then and because then, then Wang and the other guy. Oh yeah, that's right. Because then they, they go to rescue the women. Let's cue the women. Let's cue the women. Let's cue the women. It's wind of the Western. Sorry. <laughs> it's from the tour bus in the tour. Shit. I can help you. <laughs> F*** you. He's <laughs> there. Yeah, we all got one. All right. So they go to rescue the women. <laughs> and they fight the women. Right. They, oh, that's right. That's right. They oh, the they have women. those smoke sticks. Right. Yeah. That was cool. Sorry. Remember because we said, how does it feel to kick a woman in the face? Yes. And you said... I said, why hire a man to do a woman's job? No, no, you said conflicting but rewarding or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, that does sound like me. <laughs> so, yeah, they, they rescued the, uh, the women that they had captured, including Gracie, and then they all run out. But while they're running out, the demon shows up, pulls Gracie in. Right. And then wow. the, why, the Sasquatch, the Chewbacca demon. Yes. Sort of With Chewbacca the creepy wannabe. smile. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Creepy smile. Yeah. But then... The, uh, they jump into Ag Chen's uh, tour, tour bus. bus, and while they're in there, they're like, "Did you find uh, what's his what's his fiance's name? I forget." Green like, eyes. Yeah, they, did you find her? Green eyes. He's like, Green he's eyes. like, no. 
He's all, he's no, and then that's when Jack Burton goes, Where's Gracie? Where's Miao Yi? Inside. Somewhere inside. Where's Gracie? Right. Not only did they not rescue what they, they intended, they lost another one. Right. With green eyes. So, bum, bum, bum. Wait, so, so you have to you have to acknowledge the fact that when they break out, you know, there's two security guys sitting at the table with a bunch of screens, and as soon as they get into the tour bus, like eight security guys come out with automatic guns and start shooting up the tour bus. Like, where are these other guys? And that happened almost every that scene. Is that is a really rough part of San Francisco. Oh, yeah. It's a really rough part of San Francisco. Another way to interpret it is they were set up. Mm. They just came out from under the desks. Uh, ooh, that's a whole different kind of story. You got a red flag on that. <laughs> that's a foul. I just meant they were hiding. Not that it was their part-time job, uh, you pervert. Insult me. Right. Also, it could be their full-time job. They might be really good at it. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> See, they segued it. I was innocent. I'm now a victim. I will have both of you roll off to the hell where people are skinned alive. It's that simple, understand? Let's move on. <laughs> the way I always took that is that they were set up. Like, like Lopan, being ancient and wise beyond their ability to comprehend, knew these guys were going to come after the green-eyed girl and set a trap for them. But the trap was many layered. Like he thought they'd get away or they'd have a chance to get away. He wanted to toy with him. He's like a spider, but he doesn't just catch the fly. He lets it come in the web and he lets it go. I smell the blood of human beings. Find them, boil them until their flesh falls off. I'm, I'm a little back. more cynical. I really think it was just the script was and then, <clears throat> and then, and then, and then. And then. <laughs> There's no real reason. Right. And then eight guards come out with machine guns. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was they were captured, they got away, they got captured, they got away. Right. It was just, and then, how do we just keep action right. sequences going? Yeah, I, I always mean, give so much but I, know, benefit it, of the it doubt to the Western, story. And that's how Westerns did. Right. They show up and an action scene happens and then another, act. this yeah. happens and another. It, it was just something that needed to happen. Right. It's like a game of Jenga. It just becomes more unstable the longer you play. Yeah. And okay. this is how they could get now a Shen and more to now the mystical side of it. Because right. now that they realize Lopan using mystical powers, because they meet mm. while they're in the wheelchair, we skip over the fact they meet Lopan. Yep. And it's another part of Jack Burton being the normal, ah, oh, what are you, just crazy? You're just some, you know, calling a crazy old man. Right. Just <laughs> really sticking it to him. Are you crazy? Is that your problem? Uh, but not doing it purposely, just being his personality, not believing yeah. all this shit going on. Right. But now Ag Chen's in there, and now they make a plan. They realize just going in gun ho Jack Burton style right. failed, and actually back got it. They're in worse con worse right. condition. Right, because now they're missing Gracie. Right. Mm -hmm. So now they get uh, Ag Chen in, and they create a plan, and mm -hmm. Ag Chen uses his his special mystic powers. And now for some more bad news. Ready? And he makes a potion of courage. Yes. You wow. can see things right. and hear things that no one else can. Wow. LSD. 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 Faster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then so, were the monsters real? Yeah, right. Yes, because they were there before they took the potion, but nevertheless. Because <laughs> yeah, that, that, was, that was another, I keep pointing out the, the every man when they're underground, and what was it called the the black blood of the earth? You uh -huh. mean oil? No, I mean black blood of the earth. <laughs> what you mean oil? I mean black blood of the earth. I mean exactly what I said. Yeah. And then when that creature comes out and eats one of those guys, yeah, he throws those marbles that blow up, <laughs> and you will come out no more. And Jack Burton's great response: What? Right. What? 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 No more. Because <laughs> he hasn't had the potion yet. Well, there you go. Because he—that's the first thing that he's actually, other than like driving through Lopan <laughs> and lighting all that's the first thing he's seen that he can really not explain. Right. You will come out no more. What? Huh? What will come out no more? I mean, given Raiden coming in the lightning, you, you can't really yeah. explain that. Right. But driving over Lopan. You can say he even said it looked he, like a creepy anglerfish, didn't it? The thing that that, that ate him. Like, yeah, yeah. like yeah. an anglerfish and a rat had a ugly yeah. little baby. Yeah. But this is where he really just finally snaps because right. he can't explain this. And then you're right. Then they go to the bar. The bar Lopan has a bar right. that they snuck into and pour drinks. Pour everybody a shot. Pour in some, pour <laughs> and then he has to convince Jack to drink it. He's like, "What's in this?" And then the weird placed patriotic. Oh. 
Uh, <laughs> These colors never run. Yeah, the, the wings the of freedom. what did he say? The wings of freedom shall right. not lose a single feather. Right. Yeah. Here's to the army and navy and the battles they have won. Here's to America's colors, the colors that never run. May the wings of liberty never lose a feather. Ah. <laughs> Which I attribute, like you know, this was '86, right in the middle of the Russia U.S. communist thing. Yeah. Uh, but it just. They're so random. So random. <laughs> so random. But really good. And I and, then, and when when the, when the, when the alcohol started hitting, both him uh, and 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 Wang are, are both just kind of just kind of yeah, I feel good. Yeah. Is, I have a really ooh. positive outlook on this. <laughs> <laughs> He's just in the elevator, like giving everyone a pep talk. Right. He's like, yeah. this is gonna go really yeah. well. This is gonna go really, really good. Oh, yeah. And then they all get into the elevator, and it's like. <laughs> They're all doing that to each right. other. Yeah, yeah. We're really good. We're gonna do it. Really good. I'm so proud of us. It's a little warm in here, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, and just to step back a little bit, it was, it was Wang who started the patriotic, right? Like uh, Army so, Navy. He said Army yeah, Navy. Yeah, yeah. These colors never run. The American something like that. Like yeah, I think he was just trying to get Jack in on it. Yeah. Really, like yeah, everyone okay, else was kind of on that, board, yeah. and then he was the one who was hesitant. So I think he right. was just like kind to like. How, how do I trick the truck driver? Right. Yeah, exactly. He's like, how do Actually, I get you on board? And obviously, right. patriarch. How do I get you to you drink know? this drink? Let's go. It's been 30-something years, and I never thought about that. That's, that's actually right. <laughs> that's probably it. Yeah, he's just trying to get Jack on board. <laughs> he's like, let's, let's freaking It's another let's body. Move. I on. need him to be a America. <laughs> he's like, hey, buddy, you want to drink this if we talk about the patriarchy? And he's like, oh, yeah, absolutely. Let's go. And he's... <laughs> And then they to got the a move on. The <laughs> and then they got to move on. Don't. Oh my God! It just gets more annoying. You don't have to look while you drink. Yes, you do. <laughs> How you doing? Pretty good. How you doing? All right. I'm feeling very patriotic right now. I'm oh, okay. So, so they get out of the elevator. I feel patronized. And that the, that floating head appears. The floating head appears, and and. What it sees, Lopan right. knows. Lopan is talking through it. Yeah. And you get the distinct impression that the floating head is dumb as a box of rock. It was a living walkie talkie. Yeah. Like, yeah. And it just, it, it like, reminded like, me of it has security just enough camera. intelligence to move around, but otherwise it was just kind of like dumb and scared of people. But, <laughs> but what I like, again, Kurt, or Jack, Jack Burton, he shoots it, it goes off, he goes, I had to try. Yeah, I tried, I had to try. <laughs> <laughs> Try. But it left when he shot it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he plays that role so well. What? I had to try. <laughs> like, and I mean, in all honesty, it's a good point. Like, yeah. no one else even thought the to thing do anything. Guns, though, and they never really get it right in movies. Is uh, and it, it's it's just like in D and D. Sometimes there's guns. You can use guns. There's no special pew, rule pew. where when you fire a weapon in a dungeon, it casts summon everything. Like it's a. Guns are magic spells that summon all of the defenders in the real world, but that's never the case in a film. No. You you're like, bang, 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 and then walk through the house and then encounter someone in another room and they are not alerted to your presence. Right. But now Lopan, when they find out, Lopan, they are at Lopan's lair, covered in neon lights and sculptures that are right. kind of very 80s, very cool. The neon lights were so rad. That was cool. It was a great set. It was a neat set design. I mean. I mean, there's a picture there. Yeah. Why and just you? using them to edge the thing to give it a kind of a mystic look, except it didn't give it a mystic no, look. No. It gave it like a... It an looked 80s. like the Power it, Rangers. But, but like... It looked like an 80s arcade. It looked like an 80s... If somebody took uh, the Indiana Jones ride, if it existed in the 1980s, and tried to turn it into a disco. I yep. I, walk, I walk in there, I look expecting to see the Tron video game. Yeah. You know, some pinball right. machines. That's an 80s, like... like a little amusement park right. pinball, uh, but like this thing, arcade. But yeah. but but this look was 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 making. I'm using the, the word of the day is caricature. Was making a caricature of the '80s. If we say the word, do we all scream? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we all drink. It was making a caricature <laughs> oh! of the '80s. Pee-wee's playhouse. Before the '80s had gotten far enough for them to do that, like oh. they 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 were they were making fun of themselves, and they didn't. It looks so like meta. Roller. It's so not meta. Yeah. It's it, pre-meta? Pre-meta. Pre-meditated. <laughs> now we're the big fight. So, well, well they're, they're, they haven't started the fight yet. 
they are realizing that what the wedding's going on and more a little more exposition dump. Right. They learn that if Lopan has to marry uh is gonna marry her and once the ceremony is completed, then he's mortal and they can kill him. Right. Right. So Wang doesn't want them to complete it because Wang doesn't want him marrying his girl. And Jack Burton doesn't want to marry because he said he's after he gets married, he's gonna kill Gracie just to appease the gods. Let him complete the ceremony, then he's ours for certain. Right. So he's got that. Right. He's, he's gonna kill both. one and keep yeah, yeah. the other. Yeah, because they both passed the trial right. of the, right. of With the, the swords. glowing swords. Yeah. Right. And so normally he would marry well, and, the bride and then kill her, but right. he had said that now he gets to marry one and kill the other and still fulfill his earthly right. desires. Yeah. And then I would sacrifice Gracie Law to appease my emperor and live out my earthly pleasures with Mao Yin. Did you before and I'm like, then? Oh, get the to crux eat your, was they have were, your cake and eat it too. Good for you. Before that, they were trying girl. to get there before the ceremony because they weren't sure if they were both going to survive it. Mm -hmm. Because and he was like, "Cool, now I got an extra shot. If one doesn't, if right. one dies, then the other one lives." But then when they both lived, they were like, "Great, we get to save them both still, even though we're late." But I love oh, the fact even though we're when they're, late. I love it when they're standing there in their full garb. Gracie opens her eyes and she's like, "Hey." Yeah. Hey, and then the guy walks in and she closed her eyes, and then when they open up, they both have like yeah. the white eyes. Lightning and, comes in and yeah. casts a spell. Yeah. yeah. But she was like, hey, hey, and then she closed her eyes, and then they're both in. Yep. And at the wedding, while they're completing it, the, the fight breaks out. And this is the the start of the fight is where we really experience Kurt Russell at right. <laughs> Jack, Jack, sorry, Jack Burton at yeah. his best. At his Burtonist. Where they all scream and when jack screams gracie wakes up and when wang screams meow ying wakes up and they all start to fight and to get everyone pumped up jack burton shoots the gun up in the air <laughs> it falls and on knocks himself, himself, out. himself <laughs> out knocks himself out for a bit uh, the fight start they, right. they show him fighting and he's just laying there right. with rocks next to him and then wang and Rain just continually just flip. Which was the entire such a, fight scene. Such a cool fight scene. <laughs> it says, all they did was they flip, ding, land, turn, yeah, they just, flip. They just jump land. at each other like they fly well, they, across the room. Because, like, listen, man, if you do a full revolution, like when you're kicking, you build up speed for your foot, right? So if you do a front flip while you're swinging your sword, it's going to go so much faster. Yeah. You, you I, know, I almost felt like, just trying to hit each other really hard. I almost felt like Wang could have been. Like a secret elemental, like mm -hmm. Wang, because he he killed one of the guys. Like but he they grabbed the, the potion. He had the potion. The oh, so that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah the LSD. Yeah, the LSD. They, they were jumping back and forth. That's all they did going, was just. And then they fought. Then they jumped together and uh -huh. fought together. Ching, 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 ching. Right. And then finally, uh, Rain tries to get the the get him quick, so he turns around and jumps faster before Wang is ready, and Wang catches him and throws a sword up and kills him in midair. Right. Then he Sweet. flies into one of the sculptures and it blows up. Yeah. So As that's, you do. we lose rain. Right. Poor we lose rain. rain. I mean, yeah. we lose rain or rain rain lost. Like, we, we win because we, we like well, the good guys. Well, as an audience, we lose the rain. One of the three yeah. characters, yeah. One of he the dies. Ends. Yeah. And that's when your part, when you mentioned where uh, Jack finally wakes up and the first guy he fights is one of the big... Uh, gold covered yeah. samurai guys. And then he stabs him with a shoe blade and he gets stuck, stuck. Yeah. for like the whole fight. <laughs> the whole, and I'm the like, whole you're battle. doing great, buddy. <laughs> yeah. He's like he's laying over him and he's got his foot yeah. in his stomach. And just crossing. Oh, oh, oh. Right. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Right. <laughs> The entire fight, that's where he it is. It just reminds me of Gimli when he's like, that still counts as one. Right. <laughs> and yeah. the, uh, we have where they use Chinese black magic. Chinese black magic. To fight each other, where Egg Chen and yes. Lo Pan play a video game with each other. Right. Because Lo Pan's doing this, <laughs> and yeah. Egg Chen's doing this. Uh -huh. and one of them was playing console, and the other one was yeah. playing Switch. Yeah. Or and, no, we. <laughs> and then Lil Pan was like, you were never good at that. Yeah, yeah. you could never beat me. You never beat <laughs> yeah, what an unnecessary just like oh. knockdown. But it's kind of a neat thing because now it makes you wonder too. The, like, What's their history? Exactly. They have a history mm -hmm. that they never 
they right. never dive into. So this is not the first time they face. Maybe they were right, childhood but friends. But it's also um, wonderful because it, maybe it, the brothers. That's what I thought. Brothers. Who, who else do you play video games with except for your like brother or childhood <laughs> best friend? Right. <laughs> And so they maybe Egg is, is two thousand years old as well. He's aged better. Ooh. Or Lopez's yeah. dad. I am your father. I am oh, your father. We're going Ooh. Star Wars with the. <laughs> or is Star Wars going big trouble? Little <laughs> trying. <laughs> They'd be in big trouble if they did. I think we're going to get a call from John Carpenter saying, don't do any of my movies anymore. You stop. <laughs> but I mean, when you look at it, Star Wars is pretty much a Western sci-fi. This is a right, Western yes. Chinese mythology. It's right. Not too far off. And they're off. both fantasies. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then now all the hate comments, just the uh, flame from people that are like, Star Wars is fantasy. They're wizards with laser swords. <laughs> and I love it, but it's fantasy. And robots. And robots. And robots. Yeah. Okay, so big battle's over. Right. Um, oh well, we got to go into how Lopan dies. Well, yeah. Was... So, so yeah, the, the big battle's still going on, but uh, Jack Burton and Wang go chasing after Lopan because he he goes him and Thunder go hide, right. go back up to there mm -hmm. to finish the ceremony. They want to, or that's what it was. While they're upstairs, he's checking the ceremony. But didn't he also take the bride with him? Didn't he also have? Yeah, yeah he, he takes Meow Meow Yang with him. Because he stabbed him in the wrists and got their blood, and, and then became human. Blood. So he's right. he's mortal now. Well, while they're upstairs, well, could you hear him? He's checking. Oh, it worked. Ching Tai is a piece. Jetin. And you hear uh, Thunder going, but you're you're mortal now. You're mortal. He keeps telling me, and he's checking. He's checking, and they're and he's he, yeah he is. Right. And that's when Wang shows up. Right. And because uh, that's the great great line. Take take the bitch. Take her. Take the bitch. <laughs> take oh, the yeah. bitch. It's, it's such a so weird, random. Yeah, it's like the one like. The one line is it just doesn't fit, but it just makes me smile. It's just the way he told you, here, take, take the bitch. There's a couple Ooh. lines that don't fit. Like, but I mean, from, from him, right. from, from Lopan. Lopan, from Lopan yeah. pretty stuck that character. That was just a weird yeah. a weird line for a weird Lopan. Feeling. Yeah. Well, he obviously wanted to be with the other woman. He was just lucky. Like He even was like, oh, I'm going to kill that one, and I'm going to win. Enjoy the physical fruits of my labor with this one. That's a like, very we knew, nice way of we saying We knew rape. his preference. So it made sense that he would just be like, tick, bitch. Like, he yeah. obviously didn't care about one of the green-eyed ladies. He just found it convenient that yeah. she yeah. passed the test. But just a 2,000-year-old mystic spiritual leader With saying, take the bitch. a chip on take his shoulder. Yeah. I he agree. He was a snarky man. I think there could have been another word. <laughs> take her, take the bitch. They could have he could have called her a wench. He, he, yeah. he could have called her... Slave or anything. Kill the whore. Yeah. <laughs> or take, said anything. Or, yeah. Or just, take... Just, just take, take her. her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, it was just a weird delivery. It sounded like something Eddie Murphy would say. Right, yeah. Right. It, just, <laughs> it, sounded like, it sounded like the director's on set. Like, it just doesn't sound powerful enough. Just say something more powerful. Right. Take the bitch. Take her. Take the bitch. Be right, mean to her. Move on. <laughs> and then they Done. all laughed and said, yeah. perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> With what's coming up, that's a great start because now the comedy's coming in. Because now we get where the really awkward scene in the elevator. If you want to go into that one, you don't. Mostly because I don't remember. Which that's one what you're I figured. No, 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 no. When Jack Burton finally kisses Gracie. Oh, and they do the big old making out, and he comes out with his face all covered in lipstick, and then they just leave him like that for like the rest of the scene. Yeah, that was fun. That was amazing. But I mean, that was fun. But I mean, they're chasing Lopan. This whole big battle's going on, and they're in the elevator, and oh God, he just kind he, of like. What did he yeah. say? He's like, or no, he said it in the tunnel. He's like, how do you expect me to blankety blank oh, when your body's so yeah. pressed yeah. up against mine? And she's like, no. That was early. They kissed once before, though. They kissed. He kissed her. They kissed a and bit. And she. Hey. Sorry. Sorry. I'm just thrilled to be alive. There she were... pushed him off. Of oh her. yeah, it was when they were in the in the sewer right. tunnel. But I mean, this one like it's just such an awkward spot of what's going on yeah, in the background. Yeah, she's like, is this like... even real? Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, is this really happening? 
And I'm like, okay. He kissed her, and then she kissed him, and then his whole face now was covered in Now your whole teeth are covered in literal, like his right. whole... I was right. like, that's... <laughs> Which is great, because now he shows up to Lopan acting tough. Him and Lopan tough. Acting tough with makeup yeah, all yeah. over him. Yeah. 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 Makeup artist yeah. literally like, no, you need more in your right. actual mouth. In and your just teeth. Yeah, yeah. all over his teeth <laughs> and going, no, that's good. Go on set. And I mean, Disney Channel, Kurt Russell would have been for it. Many people around here been dropping like flies already, and where's that getting us, huh? Nowhere, fast. But then uh, the fact, and then the, the, he so you got him covered in lipstick, and he comes up delivering his his let's just say his John Wayne moment where he walks up uh-huh. all tough. You know what Jack Burton says at a time like this? <laughs> <It's> Jack Burton, <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, you know what old Jack Burton always says at a time like this? Who? Jack Burton. Me. Who's well, Jack, Jack Burton? Burton. <laughs> Jack so, Burton. It's me. Me. Like, <laughs> it just, that's such a John Wayne moment that is just, distri- <laughs> just, just messed up by his lipstick and by the guy just kind of calling him out. Right. Improved like, like, who by his you? lipstick yeah. and improved by the guy calling him out. Yes. And then Wang, like, why that's going on, Wang shows up. Uh, to fight, to basically distract Thunder, right? So that Jack Burton can go after. Because it makes pan. sense that the guy right. who hasn't been effective at all throughout the movie should take on the wizard at would the end. Would go the square boss. off well, with you boss know, well, man. He, he would yep. lose straight up against Thunder. Yeah. So you need the martial artist to go up against Thunder. Yeah. So Wang knew that, of course. And that battle scene is where that's what like the and, comedy of that battle scene because they it's a <laughs> it's a straight shot of a doorway and he. F- Wang flips, he comes running over, sees a statue, for no reason stops, karate chops it, and it really breaks, <laughs> and runs dogs. over, and you just see stuff fly across the, <laughs> yeah. across the doorway. Then Wang flips, he comes running across, more, more stuff, stuff flies. flies. Like, this is a straight Three Stooges comedy shot. Uh-huh. It's a long comedy shot of just props flying in right. and then running, flipping through. That is... That's no, it's, you talk about physical comedy. That's I, I Three it. Stooges yeah. physical comedy right. at its peak. But it's also stop effective the storytelling, fight. right? And, and it lets you as the audience decide, based off of the attributes you've seen these guys displaying, right. what kind of shenanigans are going on over there. But my, well, my thought is, when you look at the script, is this a elaborate fight scene? Because they, like, well, one, I didn't know, uh, the guy who plays Wang uh, is not a martial artist. This oh. was his first, yeah, he was not a martial artist. Oddly enough, you know who they wanted for that role originally? Jackie Chan. I they was going to guess. Jackie Chan, but yeah. they, they were afraid his English wasn't good enough. Because at the time, he had, he had no right. English-speaking roles. Right, yeah. and Wang was, Wang was translating back and forth. Right, yeah, so. Wang was supposed to be, because he said he came to America when he was younger. Right. Because he, he, had, he hadn't seen Miao Ying since he was a kid. Right. So he's supposed to be an right. American, you know. Um, but... Uh, but I'm wondering if it, it's a script if it had an elaborate fight scene and they're like, yeah, we're out of time and money. Right. Just, just, just do this. Right. I mean, that's, <laughs> that seems like a great way to just get the fight scene across right. without having to do any of the And then work. you see the text just throwing yeah, shit. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, that's what they did in Indiana Jones. He came on set and he felt so shitty he didn't right. want to do the entire scene, so he just literally pulled out his revolver and shot and, the guy and, and it was after away. He, they had a whole yeah. scene. But like, it's after he'd right. done the scene several times He's like, with a fever, feeling terrible. Done. Yeah, done. Yeah. Yeah. It feels like Because he remembered like he had a gun. Nobody thought about it <laughs> which is the most iconic right. spot in that entire movie which is this too like and then the actor, would have been fun there. the actor pauses right. because he wasn't expecting he's like i did my big thing with the sword ah and then he pulls it again and shoots out and the actor pauses and then decides to fall and go with it instead of going cut you know right. that's not what's written yeah, yeah but it's such a but good the, job but the beginning of that fight scene where where wang is flipping across and then thunder comes over and stops to break the dog in half. <laughs> it's so good. You know, he just stops and looks. It sets it up because there's no reason for him to stop and no. do that. And but the rest of that fight scene, it just it gets a, a point across without having to shoot an entire right. fight scene. And I think it works because we just went through so many fight scenes. Right. It was neat to have that little break. Right. And why that's happening is when Jack Burton. Uh, throw you know basically throws a throws a knife at. Uh, Lopan. Lopan misses. Right. Hits, yeah. the, hits the gong, and he picks it up. And he's like, "Nice knife, Mr. Burton. It's a, it's, you know, it's right. a shame I have to kill you with it." It's a good knife. 
Goodbye, Mr. Putin. And throws it at him and catches it. He catches it, throws it back. <laughs> throws it right back. And then what is his line? It's all in the reflexes. It's all in the reflexes. Thank you, <laughs> yes. It's all in the reflexes. A great Jack Burton yeah. line. It's all in the reflexes. And... <laughs> He and now he's so dead. Then, so then he dies, and oh. that's when Thunder explodes. Well, Thunder sees that his boss is dead. And he explodes. And he, and he starts going, yeah. right. And I had no it. idea that that was what that thumbnail so was Wayne, from. I've seen mm -hmm. that picture <laughs> so many times, and yeah. I never knew. See, Wang doesn't about. ever beat him. He just, right. he sees his. I thought his, it was from, honestly. Um, Garbage Pop Kids. That's what I thought. Well, that's good too, but <laughs> oh. like, um... I just remember when he explodes, there was so much cabbage. Yes. Um, yeah. From Monty Python, Brian... Uh, Brian? Brian? Yeah, that's what I thought it was from, because there's that scene with Gluttony. The guy blows up. Mm -hmm. But so that I was wasn't trying it. To, trying to think of the song at the end of Life of Brian, Always sorry. Always look, look on, on the bright side, side of life. life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to get copyright printed. Stop. <laughs> Stab him. All of you. Just make it higher pitch. <laughs> We're not the Munchkins. <laughs> We're better. But yeah, so he blows up. So now they're trying to escape. Right. Oh, oh, we forgot. For some reason, when Lopan dies, all the statues fall over right. and dominoes <laughs> yeah. into the gong and then keep falling. Right. <laughs> I was like, what a waste of props. <laughs> what a nice long shot of just like... <laughs> Random. <laughs> it's so useless, but just as good as the fight scene of them right. running across the screen. for no It's way. supposed to be representative that without him, there's no infrastructure. Yeah. Like, oh, it, that's so, what they meant. Well, no, no. But it's yeah. so much of his sorcerous empire relied on him existing. That's what she just said. Yeah. Yeah. But in I'm a saying totally in, different way. In a totally different way. She, she said it's just stealing what you're saying. Way. That's okay, he can piggyback off my genius. Uh -huh. That's true fact. <laughs> we, we can have the same thought. Huh. He wishes. And they're on their he way out. They do. It's true. On their way out, they run into lightning. Right. And as we said, he's warming up for no. He could have killed them all right there, but he decides he wants to warm up. And he's shooting that, which is right. actually really neat, though, because he's shooting the ceiling, and as soon as he passes it, you see that it's all on fire, drooping down, and then falls. Right. Well, it's totally so, pointless, but so cool. So while yeah. he's shooting all this lightning, they just randomly all make it up this hole. Yeah. You know, so they, the, the, there's four of them. So they each get up the hole while he's just standing there right. warming up. Monotone. Well, and charging. I didn't, I didn't think he was warming up. I thought when Lo Pan died. Like all of his servants were just kind of like going nuclear. Like they were trying to to, to, Maybe. to create so much destruction that it would just bring the building down on everything. Maybe, but then but then he after he blew like because he brought the fire down, he goes after them. So he, yeah, like he didn't really go nuclear because right. he was like actually going after them. Yeah, destruct. But I it was just really cool looking because you see that fire droop down and, and then fall. he drops the thing on them. Well, so yeah, right. But we forgot the the one part too where we keep saying <laughs> I think they ran out of money and time. Because while they're on the second floor, they're going to get to the third floor, which is really high. Uh -huh. And the egg chain's like, how'd you get up there? It wasn't easy. How'd you get up there? It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. It was more than that. Exactly. Exactly. It's like, well, we don't know how to explain this, so right. we'll just throw we that just, line in there. We just won't. I'm going to watch close to see if it was ADR to see if it was, or if he actually did say it. Right. We'll look close. I'll play it and see. Because it was just like, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. All right, move on. Right. And, and he shoots the gun down and he brings him up. And then, yeah, while he's coming from the first floor to the second floor, Egg Shen on the third floor throws the statue down the statue. and crushes lightning, lightning, which a little weird thing too. If you look closely, when lightning falls down, you see the remnant remnants. One little piece of lightning comes up and forms a Chinese character yeah. that says Carpenter. Because oh, Carpenter. I always wondered what that says. Carpenter. Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, cool. egg. John Carpenter, the director. Ah, uh, little so Easter they, egg. The little Easter egg that the visual effects guys threw in there for fun. Ah. Uh. I like it. Yeah. Or it was either them for fun, or John Carpenter was like, you fucking do this now. Right. You put my name in <laughs> lightning or I am With done. With the fucking John Carpenter yeah. mafia. <laughs> you don't want to work in this town again. Because yeah. I'm never working here again. Yeah, <laughs> this is my last studio film and it'll be yours too. <laughs> or else. I, I loved it. I think it was just... So yeah, I mean, we'll wrap it up. They, yeah. get, they get out, he find, they find his truck. There's my truck. 
my truck. It's yeah. really great when he's opening the, the door, he's like, it's my truck. It's my truck. <laughs> <laughs> Who parked it there? Uh, when they stole it. They took the keys. L Don't like, you have a spare look, set? the three storms had to get back there somehow, so they stole his truck and drove. The three storms drove his truck back. Uh, they could see, fly. I no, that entire Don't. plot point. No, the three, the three, the three storms were also <laughs> truck drivers. I mean, it was either the three storms or it was just one of the gang members oh, yeah. associated with Lil Pam. It would be, be funny to see right. uh, <laughs> uh, thunder, lightning, or right. <laughs> <laughs> You know, someone someone cuts him off and he just right. shoots lightning out at him, and you know. So then uh, they drive away, and then we have the final scene where everybody's like, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're the best. He hands them the money. Triple. Triple, triple or nothing. Triple, yeah. Nothing and or triple. Nothing or triple. Nothing or double. Triple. You earned it. You're right, I did. Thanks, Wang. Nothing or no, triple. Nothing, sorry, nothing or triple. And it was great. He's like, it was, it was double. And he's like, but you earned it. You're like, yeah, yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> yeah. I did. I did. And then the ultimate Western ending. Right. When... Well, they both leave. What's that? They both leave. No, just Egg he leaves. leaves too. Oh, yeah. First, oh, Egg, yeah. Egg Chen leaves because his, 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 the battle's done. Our work's done. Little Pan is dead and the evil spell's been lifted. He says, right. I've yep. earned a vacation. Yeah. Right. He's like, I planned a vacation and now I'm getting ready to take yep. it up. Take it. Take Sorry, it. thank you for that. I forgot right. Egg Chen, yeah, si signed out. So right. He's been battling it for a while. He's done. But then the ultimate Western ending was Jack Burton. Aren't you even going to kiss her goodbye? No. What about Gracie? You're not even going right. to kiss her? Kiss her goodbye? He looks back and goes, no. Nope. And walk. Oh, actually, right. the ones who she she even says we could buy a little a truck big enough for the two of us and have a little apartment in the back. Yeah, yeah. and he's like, you know, given enough time, I rub everybody the wrong way. Right? <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's like <laughs> big pass. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so the grease is really good. But well, and and then as he's leaving, you know, there's the monster in the back. Right. Well, right. and then he's driving down, doing his his CB. Talk, you know his, what Jack Burton, Burton always says. says. Yeah. You just listen to the old pork chop express here now and take his advice on a dark and stormy night. So, oh wait, I gotta go back for a moment though, yep. because there's something really significant that when Egg Chen is leaving and he says he's been promising himself this vacation for a long time, you have to think that if he's as old as Lo Pan, he's been 2,000 years, he's been Without a vacation. waiting for this battle. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's kind of a and, cool... Well, no, he's not, he's not, he hasn't been waiting for the battle, he's been waiting to win the battle because he said, you could never beat me, old man. Right. So they this isn't their first battle, but this is the first time he's actually won. He won. That's cute, yeah. too, because they asked him if he was going to go back to China, and he said, oh, yeah. China's in your heart. In your heart. And it's always yes. with me. Right. He didn't China, oh. he said he's going to go back to the motherland. Motherland, oh, well, yeah. Oh, I said it was China. Yeah. Well... China's in the heart, Jack. Wherever I go, she's with me. But they didn't say, ah, uh, my man! <laughs> I know, there's a problem with your face. Whoa. Uh, hold on. Don't get that. Video. Get, put it up there. Get it. Fucking God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so guys. now that we know that it ended with him driving, doing a speech, and then the demon appears in the back of the truck, right. setting up for a sequel. Which, what that, the heck? It was a great, it was a, it was a, that was a big thing in the 80s of, of setting up a sequel. Like, yeah. They still do it today. but Whether they do it or one? not, right. Well, it wasn't one because, unfortunately, this was a major failure. Mm. Yeah. This movie flopped. Um, what did I, did I tell you? It totally got to video. It totally well, got to video. It became a big cult classic because it has all the cult classic things. It has uh, great one-liners. Right. Goofy comedy. Yeah. I mean, fun, this, fun fight scenes. Yes, this was perfect, perfect movie for for cult classic. But I can't remember. I mean, it, was, it was so long ago. I, I think it was released. 80s. Oh, um, Aliens. Right. Aliens had come out. Like, I think a week, they were promoting Aliens. It came out like a week or two after this. Well, you also said so, that E.T. Well, that was it. That was right. a thing. That was Other a thing. thing. So this. When they were advertising Aliens, because Aliens was the biggest thing, right. biggest movie of, of that time. They were promoting that like crazy, and this came out during the promotion of Aliens, so no one had any idea this even came I out. I thought I read that this also was right around the time Indiana Jones came out or something. What year is Indiana Jones? I thought it was a, well, I, I don't know which one. But this came out, yeah, two weeks before... Alien, it just didn't compete. And just died. And the movie that he did, 
the other movie that he did with Kurt Russell was The Thing, which we mm-hmm. talked about. That movie bomb turned into another cult classic, but that mm-hmm. movie also bombed because it came out a week after E.T. Right. So you have the biggest love fest of aliens, and then he makes a, the most brutal alien movie ever. Right. So people just didn't want to see it. Yeah, it was so good. So so, good. so he had two movies that flopped. Right. Right there, both of with timing. Kurt Russell. Yeah. If he right. doesn't have some sort of like angst against aliens now, like I would be really surprised. <laughs> Teenage angst. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're back to Christmas John Carpenter later. angst. But then what <laughs> we discussed too, real quick before we go too much too, is uh, we point. Uh, Callie was pointing out how much she liked the music. Yeah, yeah, John Carpenter does his music, um, all, all, all his own music, I think, for one movie. I think he did all the music himself. He has a band. He's no longer making movies. He's actually on tour with his band. Oh. They play music that he wrote for all the movies. What's the name of the band? I can't remember. But, um, That's a, that's a great name. name. I think. Yeah. <laughs> oh, both of you. <laughs> Is it on this? No. On the special edition, they have the music video they made for. This. Oh, nice. Um, you can find it on YouTube. I'm, yeah. Someone says Halloween. What's the first music that comes to mind? Yeah, the Halloween music. John Carpenter. Yeah. I mean, he he's a great musician. Uh, I knocked your stickers <gasps> down. My um, stickers! He's a musician and he's made a couple great songs. The transition guy really needs to work on them. And I, I love this movie. I think I love this movie more today than when I first saw it. Wow. Yeah. That's a bold statement. Yeah, because I liked it when I first saw it, but today when we watched it, we were laughing and enjoying it, and just, we were, I was, you know, like, I think it stands up today, because I don't think you need all that crazy CGI and special mm-hmm. effects. I think they did, told the story in a very effective way, and I was never bored during the movie. Mm. At not one point did I say, oh, I'm kind of wanting this to be over. You, sir. Goodness gracious. Uh, this movie, for me, has always been a movie that's better to watch with friends than alone. Like, you watch by yourself. But if I watch it by myself, I like to take it in two or three servings. But with friends, like you said, you just you, you just laugh all your way through it. And the, the, the most effective part about this movie, John Carpenter's so good at doing this, um, where he, he'll know if a movie that he's making needs to take itself seriously or not. During during some somewhere during pre production, right. he figures that out. Like uh, vampires didn't take itself seriously, and some of the one liners in that, just like the one liners in this, you know, it's it, this movie lets you make fun of it while you are absolutely loving it, right. and then you love it even more for that. So yeah, ten out of ten Excellent. would recommend. Yeah, well, to any generation of viewer, I, this unlike any movie movie we've viewed before on this channel, he's still going. I would recommend this movie to any audience member, yeah. old, young, anybody. Yeah, yeah. it holds up. Yeah, and and the neat thing is, you bring out vampires, another John Carpenter, which also another western. It was another western style movie with like just this. fantastic just, music. Yeah, but it was, it's another western that yeah. he changes, adds adds another genre too, right. and successfully does it. Found it. Sorry, I. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, so now you found, what are your thoughts on Big Trouble in Little China? Um, I liked it more than some of the other ones. Um, I kind of like that it didn't take itself too seriously, but it still had the storyline um, to go with it. You also had um, kind of like influences, or not, I don't know if it was influences from, or if these things pulled influence from this, um, but it felt very like cyberpunky and... Um, Oh, I would never have thought about that. Because with like the LED, You're kind of right. And the yeah. music in the background too. It yeah, was very yeah. Cyberpunky. Seriously. G- uh, Wait. It's very... Good job, John Carpenter. I'm the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's very Wild West meets uh, cyberpunk meets yep. like your standard Chinese Asian, mythology. Yeah. Like... Well, well, I guess the question is, you know, do you know? Because we're skipping to the end for her. Is does it hold up? And would you watch again, or would you watch it with a friend? I mean, if it randomly, if you had somebody over the house, would you like say, "Hey, this was just this weird, funky movie." Would you watch it? I think if it was on already, then yes. But I don't think I would go out of my way. You to wouldn't find search it. for it. Yeah. Okay. All right. 
But yeah, so so I, yeah, I can I can see that. I, and I, the interesting about this too is the way you say it's a western. The, apparently, the original script was written written written. written. <laughs> you waskily rabbit. Wooden in the west. We're not good at talking today. No, it's not. It was written originally as a western, and it was John Carpenter who came in and put the whole Asian influence, the Chinese mythology influence on it. Well, didn't you say they wanted originally Clint Eastwood or? Yeah, supposedly like Clint Eastwood or Jack Nicholson was supposed to be Jack. Right. Mm-hmm. No, his name's Jack. 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 Can we just but, say it's within the western? But you, you could, yeah. <laughs> within the western. You could see it was, yeah, it was a western. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say it again? <laughs> <laughs> it was within the western. You wascally it, it, rabbit. Like, now you put it in my head. I, I can't. Un, un- you feel. with the wascally is within the western. <laughs> but you could see why they want Clint Eastwood. It was written as a western. <laughs> I am so proud of myself. <laughs> That's great. Oh, will you grab that? Oops. Uh, well, we all know what I think about this movie because the whole time I've been doing it, I've been talking about how much fun it was. Uh, I watch this movie maybe once a year like because I, I still just love this movie. Mm-hmm. When, every once in a while when it's on, I'll be like, oh, yeah, I watch this. As a kid, my little brothers and I would run around doing this all the time to each other. We were just, I mean, to, when I was a little kid, Thunder was the coolest character ever created. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Lightning, Lightning was the coolest character ever made. And then when they made Mortal Kombat, we all knew, like, oh, it's, right. it's, they made a video game out of uh, Big Trouble in China. We played this movie at Fuku Burner. Right. Like, this has been a huge part of my life, will all of you part of my life. Love this movie. Can't recommend it enough. Of all the movies we probably have on the show, this will probably be the best show, in my opinion, that we've ever had on the show. Love mm-hmm. that. So that's me. And now we're going for the youngest view. And here I come. And I hope you tear it apart, though. I might a little bit. Yeah, I know Please you do. Won't. But in a, in a nice way. So while watching this movie, I can guarantee you I said the phrase, oh, okay, probably about 14 times. Because <laughs> there were so many just reality shattering, <laughs> like sort of like tropey, over the top, nonsensical, reality breaking moments where I'm just yeah. like, oh, oh, okay. Chinese black magic. Chinese black magic. And I mean, sure. Sure, but when you just decide that magic is the reason, it pokes so many other like scriptural <laughs> plot holes into the actual it's making a, it's of like your opening movie. A good fortune cookie. It, it's just a way to create a bunch of un like okay. And then you, and then you, and then you, and yes, then. Exactly. Yeah. Because the the thing is, is the more complex you make your magic system, the easier it is for you to contradict yourself. Yeah, you gotta have rules. And so you either have to just decide there are rules, but we're not gonna tell you what they are. Like, oh, it wasn't easy. When it, when yeah. it goes up the, the hole, yeah. right? It's easier to just not explain it than it is to try to explain it yeah. and then create right. some sort of plot hole or some sort of inconsistency in your storytelling. So they just kind of go, magic. Some more you know. And that's it. Let's flip some more. It's seven. So. I'm going to go wherever I want, okay? <laughs> I'm immersed, okay? The entire world is my stage. Yes. But that's not the point. My point is that I had, like, I got it, but I got it almost satirically. Okay. I was like, when does this movie take itself seriously? Oh, it doesn't. Mm-hmm. Okay. Gotcha. Kind of felt like watching Robot Chicken to me. Yeah. Yeah. A L- little bit. Where do you think the people from Robot Chicken got their inspiration? Movies like this. You also have to remember that because of my generation, generation, I saw a lot of the inspiration. Mat- uh, no, no, I saw a lot of the inspired material before seeing yeah, the yeah. inspiration material. Yeah. It's so like, it's really hard for me to not see it as knockoffy or for it to not be seen as just a satire. Because not realizing OG. that I've already seen the joke. First. It's like watching Spaceballs before watching Star Wars. Yes! Yeah. Which I also think I did. Yeah, a lot of people did. <laughs> I mean, he jammed you. the radar and it was Raspberry. Yeah. Come on. Nobody gives I didn't me hate Only it. one man gives me I didn't raspberry. hate it, <laughs> but the immersion wasn't there for me. All right, so would you no, recommend it? Well, well, before, but now do you think, because we were talking a lot, we were distracting and laughing a lot, do you think it would feel the same if, because like you even said there were a few plot points I brought up that you missed. 
Do you think you would have enjoyed it more if you didn't miss all the plot points by us? No, okay. I if think... If you have actually watched the whole thing. I think the Ooh. social aspect kept me engaged enough right. to watch it, personally. Right. Because I'm kind of like a people body, and so when there were people there making jokes and like making it like... It kept pulling me back in like the... The, the punnery that was mm. occurring with my little gaggle. Right. But if Your that gaggle. hadn't have been there, I might have just been like, I, I'm not really getting into this. So my last question would be, if you were flipping through TV, like, I, I, like I, does anyone flip through TV anymore? No, yeah. it's Netflix. Yeah, no, exactly. If you put on Netflix and you saw Big Trouble in Little China and you didn't have another movie to watch, would you watch it? No. I did like... I liked the anti-hero yeah. role of the main character not being the main character. That's a bit I probably would show to other people who are like getting into the entertainment or writing or artistry or any sort of like written. I'd be like, hey, here's a cool way to represent these characters that you may have never seen before. But then after that, I'm kind of. Yeah, I understand. There's something wrong with your face. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> There's something wrong with my face. By the way, Megan, you're fired. <laughs> I'm the money maker of this show. <laughs> no, your feet are. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in the reflexes. All right, so we just finished eating. Yes. An amazing meal from Fuku Burger. Which amazing. You've been there before. Yep. So we're going to review Fuku like we do the movie. You've been there before? Love it. Yes, absolutely. Uh, 10 out of 10. We'll do again. Highly recommend. Especially to all your weeby friends. They're going to feel at home there. What Weeb. friends? Weedy friends. Weeb. Weeb. Weebs. You're a weeb. Weeboos. I don't know like what that means. Like You've been to Japan. And then, and, then, and then when you go to Fuku Burger, my favorite part is you give them some name like Walter Whitehead or something. And they call that out instead of your actual name. I feel that that would happen anywhere that you have to give a name. You go to the bank. They're <laughs> no, but they call intentionally. You, yeah, you but, go to Starbucks. Or, but it's or they like will give you one. Required at Fuku Burger. Or they will give you one. They will assign one to you. I think the burgers were nice and saucy. 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 I like me a saucy burger. How do you feel about the gravy? I like me a saucy burger. Okay, cool. The wasabi mayo is really great. And it was. I, and I let's went not through forget, like two cups of that. Yeah. Let's not forget their fries are good too. The, the fries, fries are really good. The seasoning is great on the fries. Yeah. They had they had magic spark also. Yeah. All right. So I will add this to the end of the video, but while we're talking about it to get yeah. going, I'll tell a little story. So, the so hey, if you are interested in the. Fuku Burger is get the number three. It's the best just, burger on the menu. That's wrong. Just, Actually, just, the number just two just is the best burger. Interrupt my story with your recommendation. Yeah, just yeah. keep doing number two. that. The number three. He's just wrong. Keep it's doing the number two. It. It, the number three is the with best the, one. With the, with the egg on it. Yeah. All right, so how we found Fuku, <laughs> back before I moved away and came back, I, when I worked for Cirque, shows would end around 11, a little after 11, we would all go out for food. Fuku Burger was a truck. It was a, it was a food truck. Mm -hmm. And we would always find out where it is when we get off work. We'd go there, and we would go there, and everyone loved it. It was never, it was never an argument of like, ah, oh, I don't want to go there. It was always if someone said it was either ramen because ramen was open late, mm -hmm. or fuku. And anytime someone said fuku, no one complained. We always went. They would have the food truck. They would set up. They had buckets, so you would order the food, go sit in the bucket, and eat, hang out. <laughs> they had cars. Cars would show up, so they'd bring cars. Depending on what part of town it was in, it was always a lot of fun. Then, working with Ryan, who you may have seen for 30 seconds on episode zero before he threw a fit and yeah, he, quit. He, 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 off, yeah. he yeah. just like... Oh, I wasn't there for that. No, no it was episode zero. He was like, yeah. he was like fuck this up. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, gentle, baby, gentle. gentle. So this I was worried about the language. <laughs> but with, with that, so, so Ryan and I... I helped him out, but Ryan had one of the first LED trucks in the city. One of the trucks that drive on the strip with LED screens for advertisement. Yeah. Before that became a thing, he built the first one. And while it's we were- It's pretty awesome. It was. And all, so all the laws that now exist were because of him, because he would just do whatever he wanted. Cops yeah. would pull him over and be like, no, you can't do that. So they had to make a new law because of him. Oh, what a troublemaker. Yeah. What's mm -hmm. the law now? He was very really disruptive. Yeah, yeah. But uh, so when we were testing, the, testing it, uh, we would find out where the Fuku truck is and we'd park the truck with the LED screens next to the Fuku truck, play movies. We put speakers under it and we'd play movies while 
having burgers. F- f- burger, fuku burgers, yeah. And that's how we met Colin, the owner, and we became friends with him. That's which awesome. Was, which was a, and movies exactly. happened before the show even did. But here's, here's the best part. I will cut in a little clip I have. It's very short. It's really low quality because this was probably like... Uh, ten years ago, maybe. So like it was old iPhone, old uh, old iPhone stuff. Whoa, yeah. back, ancient. Yeah. Well, back when iPhone cameras were really bad. Right. But uh, one of the movies we played was Big Trouble in Little China. We were in Chinatown <laughs> with Fukuber wow. playing this. And I'll cut that in so we could see that. That's awesome. But to show how great Fuku and Colin, Colin is, is when I was leaving one of the shows that I was on, uh, the last night they threw a party. And they called Colin and asked him to bring the truck around back to the theater, back in the casino. So when all employees, when we all came out, they threw a party for me leaving the show. And it was all catered by the Fuku truck. And that's awesome. That was all because of that. So That's pretty cool. So that is why I have no problem putting Fuku on this show. Because right. I've got a long history with them. Not only that, but their food is great. Phenomenal. And they and, have yeah. excellent stickers. Yeah, excellent stickers. stickers. Hey, Colin. Thank you for the burgers, man. We really appreciate it. They were delicious. They um, were fucking delicious. They were fuku delicious. And uh, oh, and yeah. they opened one up in the sports arena in the Allegiant Raiders Stadium. Oh, yeah, so if you're in town for a game, check them out. You're there here for too. the Super Bowl. Tell them be kind. Rewatch sent you. Yes. And, yeah. a- <laughs> Ew, and get maybe and nothing. And get a <laughs> smile on them. A high Pat five. on the back. <laughs> in Chinese black magic.